to story of the day. Now there is a uh, the period called uh, Pillayakade. Have you ever heard of it? What is that? Yes? I know the period, but I don't know the story. Mm -hmm. What is uh, Okay. This is a period of observance of 21 days of Pillayakade. Uh, uh, you know who is Pillayar? Lord Shiva's son. So, the first uh, picture there, that's of Pillaya, the elephant-handed god, Ganesha or Ganapati Pillaya. So, this is uh, uh, the, uh, these days we are observing the Pillaya Kadai, means we worship Pillaya, we say prayers for Pillaya, uh, devotees of uh, Pillaya uh, observe fasting for the Pillaya too. Okay? So, uh, uh, so one of these days we are going to talk about Pillaya. So um, he's going to come. Okay. Okay. Come over here. Come this side. It, this is your side. someone who had the same face as him, and he had the face of an elephant. He started tormenting all devas. All the devas went to Shiva and prayed. They, they asked him for help, but Shiva could do nothing. So Shiva created a he-elephant, and Parvati created a she-elephant. And there, then they made it, and out, and then there came a, ba a baby, which was half elephant, with the head of an elephant and the body of a human. 
this um, this baby was known as Ganesha. Ganesha was after a few years. Ganesha was sent to battle Gajan Mahasaran. Gajan Mahasaran easily killed all of uh, all of um, killed Ganesha's army, but and then Ganesha also killed his army. When they were battling, Gajan Mahasaran noticed that he was becoming weaker, and um, Ganesha knew that he wouldn't be attacked by any weapons, so he started attacking with his tusk. And as Gajan Muhasan was getting weaker, he quickly tried, and tried to turn into a mouse and run away. But Ganesha caught him and made him his vehicle. Now, now Murali will talk about what Ganesha symbolizes. Ganesha's head symbolizes the Atman or the soul, which is the ultimate supreme reality of the human's exist, exist, existence and his human's body signifies Maya or the or the or the earthly ex, or the earthly existence of the human beings. The elephant head de denotes wisdom and trunk represents Om. The sound symbol is co cosmic reality. The forearms are various objects. In the forehands, the forearms indicate the Lord is omnipresent of, and omnipotent. The left side of the body symbolizes the emotion and the, and the right side symbolizes the reason. An axe is a upper left uh, upper left hand, and a lotus is the upper right ha upper right hand. Signify that in order to attain spiritual perfection, one should cut worldly attachments to conquer emotion. This ena this enables one to live the world without being affected by earthly temp temptations. Thus, uh, as a lotus remains in, the, in water but is not affected by it, a tray of lattice, a popular snack, near the Lord the notion that he bestows wealth of prosperity upon his devotees. Everyone understood? Any questions? So what does the face symbolize? Hmm? What does the face symbolize? For us? For you. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. No, no, no. Ow. What's the trunk symbolize? Morally? King system. Gods are never born, never dies. You understand? God doesn't have a birth and doesn't have a death. So we use the word come into existence. It's like a sun. In the morning we get the sunrise. So you think the sun wasn't there before? You say sun was born? No, it's sunrise, right? So like that, the sun was there but not in the vision. But in coming to our vision, we say sunrise. Okay, like that, the Ganesha was always been there. The God is always there even before the creation. He doesn't have any beginning. He doesn't have any end. Okay? So God doesn't have any beginning and also doesn't have any end. So he's very existing. But coming to the form of Ganesha is a new thing. So they get two stories here. There are two different stories. So many stories, you hear the two stories. Why there are two stories here? What's the first story says, uh, Rishani? How did Ganesha came into existence? The first story? Louder, louder. Uh, uh, and 
Gopika, what did they then, then what happened? What was her head at that time? The person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? After? After he cut off the head? He brought it to Then what happened? Mm. Mm. Um, when uh, they cut um, the elephant's head on um, um, the earlier's one. Right. The first story says the Ganesha was created in a normal head form by Parvati, the Shakti. Okay, he was born out of Shakti's body. It says when she was taking a bath, you know the, what do you call it, the, the, the fragrant paste they apply for the And from the paste, he made a flyer. He said from the earth clay, but it's a fragrant paste, different stories are different ways. And he made the boy, and the boy uh, acting as a god for Parvati. So when Parvati was taking bath, Lord Shiva came. And this boy didn't allow Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva was furious and he cut off his head. Then Parvati came and objected. The Lord Shiva brought him back by putting an elephant head. That's the first story. What is the second story? You hold it. Harini, what was the second story? About player appearance? Yeah, yeah. Dharani, sorry. Um, um, uh, Pardon? Um, there was a war, and um, the enemy, I guess, was it Mm-hmm. Um, and the opponent needs to have the same base. Mm. So, um, for Shiva and Parvati, Mm -hmm. The yeah, second story says there was an Asura, demonic king before. He got the boon. As per the boon, he couldn't be killed by any humans, any celestials, any animals. He shouldn't be killed by any weapons. That was the boon. And he was doing a bad things, so much of things. He was tormenting the devas or celestials, everyone. Prayed to Lord Shiva. Then Lord Shiva and Parvati took the forms of elephant. Lord Shiva